Grand Union. Having screamed at my six-year-old to the point that she threw herself down on her bed and wept, I felt the need to get out of the house and see my mother. She was dead and in heaven, but for convenience sake, we met outside the chicken spot at the top of Ladbroke Grove. It was, in the moment, the blackest place I could think of. We sat together on the steps of the Golden Dragon. Mandem and Galdem passed us by, heading inside for their stir fry and their Szechuan. Mother and I regarded each other. For being dead, she looked pretty fantastic. Death could not wither her. It was merely one of a long line of things that could not wither her. She wore her dreads wrapped just right, high and impressive. Never ashy, her darkness shone. She looked the spit of Queen Nanny on the $500 bill. Uh, that is not a coincidence, she said, when I mentioned the resemblance. In death, I've become the nanny of the Maroons. That is, I've always been she, but now it is revealed. Figures, I said, and she admonished me for using an Americanism and asked if I was still living in those devilish parts. I had to confess I was, but had come all this way across an ocean just to converse with her spirit. Well, you're a Sante now, she said, and I was glad to hear it, having always suspected as much. Still, I kissed my teeth to make clear that, like all warrior daughters, I wanted more from my warrior mother, much more, and would never get enough. My mother kissed her teeth in turn, signifying that she understood. Together, we surveyed the scene. All around us was Carnival de Tritos red striped cans and abandoned yellow crusts of lamp petty and broken whistles and glittering press on face jewelry and filthy feathers and friendly cards from the police, describing proper stop and search procedure, informing us of the limits of their powers. Oh, carnival, while we dance in the August sun, it's wonderful, it's sticky with joy, it's the sweet fly paper of life, but then night arrives. The police hurry us home. We survey the devastated streets. We think, surely we're not going to put ourselves through all this shit again next year. Nanny has gone to carnival every year since 1972. Or maybe only I think that. The borders between me and everybody else have never been clear to me. Maybe all cycles must be respected. <laughs> 